So I wanted to go through basically the entire Greenbeard experience again and just sort of summarize what you'll be looking at and the significance of some of it. So I just wiped my save and loading up for the first time. This is exactly the same thing you'll see. It's a nice little cinematic intro and drops you straight into the tutorial. So, I'm not going to harp on the tutorial too much, because obviously you have to play through it yourself to even get out of it. But, uh, I'll just highlight a couple significant things, so, teach you about the laser pointer, teach you about the controls, dig through the dirt. Oh, I threw all my flares before it came up. This is going to be painful, I'll see you on the other side. What is this crap they've equipped me with? So, unlike how real gunners play, don't shoot a zipline for that, just dig up it. Way easier. Get off my screen! Alert! Defense barriers have been breached. We have a horde of enemies heading in your direction. It was a pleasure meeting you. Hope you'll get an honorable death. Test me, bitch. Oh, pretty. You survived. Um, I just knew you had it in you. Incidents like this sadly occur fairly frequently in hog season. My best advice is to get accustomed to your weapons and gear. Let's continue the training. Found. That mission control guy better bloody lay off me once I am my place. I believe in you, level one gunner. You'll earn your place soon. Got all these bugs chasing me still. My elephant rounds. It works though. Do I have infinite ammo? Did I see that right? I do! What? Taking it easy on me, game? What the hell? <laughs> okay. It just gives me more. That's the tutorial. Good work. We'll Easy in. peasy. So, post the tutorial, you'll find yourself dumped off in the space rig. And I think it'd be helpful to go through everything and every, basically, terminal you can touch in here one at a time to uh, familiarize you. So there's the character selection terminal. Just the, it's the most useless of all of them, because you can do this at basically all the other terminals anyways. You can change your character, but you can also do that here, and you can get a little bit of information about the character you're playing. As well as changing your loadout, which doesn't matter straight off the bat. So here is the KPI terminal. You'll get pop-ups for this a lot. So there's a statistics page that can tell you... Literally, literally everything you've ever done and with what class essentially and but these two tabs are more important so you have milestones which are how you achieve perk points you can see right there the little two stars indicates how many you'll get for completing it so you have the basic things like complete 10 missions gain levels as the engineer as every other class complete optional objectives complete missions in these planetary regions complete a certain type of mission, 
and it just goes on and on and on and on. Complete these optional objectives, do missions with warnings, and then some end game stuff down here. And what you can do with those perk points is unlock perks. So I don't have any clearly, but if I did, I'd be able to spend three to get this skill, for example. The only other real things to note is uh, these are tiered, so there's Field Medic 1, Field Medic 2, 3, and 4. To get 4, I would need 3. To get 3, I'd need 2, 2 to 1, obviously. And you also have to move up the tiers. The arrows in between the tiers indicate how many perks you need to progress, so I need to buy 3 perks in the first tier to get to the second. The biggest thing to note is if you're ever just trying to move up, it's best to just buy the cheapest one possible. So there's two for this one, three for this one, two, three, two, three. So if I was just trying to get through these, I'd buy Thorns, Second Wind, and Friendly. That would give me access to the next tier. But if one of these perks is a perk that you want, obviously you're going to need to buy this anyways. So it's best to, say if I wanted to use See You in Hell, I'd skip Thorns and get this, Swiftness, or sorry, Second Wind, and Friendly. Just kind of saving my points early on. Perk, uh, perk points do come in quickly, and there's more than enough to buy everything. I believe you'll have 42 to spare uh, if you do all your milestones. Most important thing in here is this one, new passive perk slot. So it's important to get to that as fast as you can. And then there's another one all the way at the end. So you can get two additional passive perk slots that way. So that's about all for the KPI terminal. So this is my room. That's all there is to see in here. So stepping out, we ha are next to the med bay, and we have the four other pods for the dwarves. They're all the exact same. You can access your own personal information even when other players are in the game in any of the pods. So I'm just going to go ahead and hug the right wall here. You have the med bay. This is where you'll show up at the end of a bad mission. Uh, you can see uh, previous mission stats, as well as a uh, union board in here as well, and uh, detailed stats about what's happened to you. Obviously, I've reset, so no downs, no passed out drunk, and other than that, there's not much going on in here. So moving along to the right, we have the abyss bar and the barrel ball hoop and the jukebox. Ignore that. So here you can buy the buff beer and later on you'll be able to craft uh, special like fun beers. The only one with any actual gameplay effect is this first one however and it's on a rotation so perhaps next time I come back here this will be a different beer and they all have different effects. But as you can see you need a certain amount of these materials to unlock it and then you'll need this material to purchase it every time. Over here is the barrel ball hoop. Nothing too special about this. Clearly I'm very good at this. Uh, there's a couple achievements tied to it if you care about that. There's a couple extensive guides on it out there, but it's pretty easy to master after a little while. So continuing to the right, down here. So this is kind of the end game corner. So right here is the deep dives terminal, which you will not be able to access until you're promoted. There's two deep dives on a weekly reset every Thursday, and you can use those to unlock blanks and infuse matrix cores. Come over here to the forge, and you'll be able to make those into overclocks. I'll make another video on that, but for now that's not really relevant. Upstairs we have our... Hmm, I'll finish down here first. So here's the drop pod where you actually start a mission once you have one selected. That's not how I do this. So selecting a mission, that'll open up and go in there. Right here we have the assignment board. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention. Uh, this is how you access the mission menu. Or alternatively, you can press your terrain scanner button at any location in the space rig to open the mission menu as well. This is where the server list is located. And don't use quick join. It's bad. Oh, goodness. I'm missing everything here. So here's the mineral trade. This is unlocked by an assignment. Basically allows you to buy and sell 
special crafting minerals you can kind of see right there uh, as opposed to actually going into missions and finding them so if you're just a few short you can buy what you need it's 150 for one unit to buy it and only 50 to sell it so you'd have to sell three to get one of one that you'd like so that's always an option if you need it here's the cosmetic shop there's all in-game currency stuff here obviously I feel almost upset that I feel the need to say that these days but uh, the only thing these are locked behind is your player level which increases with your class level make another video on that probably or roll that in with something else such as promotion okay there we go now the assignment board only one available to me right now but there will be more here later this is the intro assignment you normally would have the option to abort it but as it kind of pigeonholes you into this one there's no reason for that so 101 objective uh, this is oh, how many long is this nine so this is nine missions sequentially that gradually increase in complexity and difficulty as well as increasing you I'm sorry introducing you to new mission types and uh, complexities for the missions you're familiar with so the first mission opposed but the first mission that's available to you is a Morkite mission it's simple it's basically the tutorial but twice as long and you have an optional objective on the table so once that's over you get more assignments up here you have your drone modifications you have one available right off the bat I won't go too much into these specs right now but as you can see you need player levels to upgrade the drone further right here you have your gear terminal so this uh, you can tell from these black spots right here what of upgrades you have available and what you need more level for so if we actually go into one of these pieces of equipment such as the minigun we can see that this these are red as opposed to blue this is this is the actual class level as opposed to player level so up here class level one and I need to be four to upgrade to unlock this upgrade tier excuse me. it's funny to see so I need Kroppa for this one I need pearls for this one and Bismore for this so I do have enough credits but I need more other materials for that so uh, you'll go through all of these and they're kind of the same thing you can see so I need player or sorry class level four for that you can buy these if you have the minerals and the equipment is the same except for grenades which are just tied directly to uh, class level and you can unlock them big thing to note with armor is uh, every three I think yes every three upgrades you buy here so you see how there's nine total but you can only use four obviously but if you buy all of them you get small health increases even if you aren't using those mods if you own them you get a bonus so actually I can ex I can show this off right now so you see how there's two pips here if I buy this yeah. fills out one of them it's the same concept with this so if I bought three of these it would get me up to this first health bonus very small but it's really useful and a lot of people overlook that for potentially a hundred hours of play just because of how like un it just doesn't make you aware of it it's really unfortunate right here you have pickaxe modification there's nothing really uh, you won't have anything to start out with unless you have the supporter edition or mega corp like the look of this one. it's pretty good uh, here's your wardrobe so once you actually buy things over there if you do not choose to equip them immediately you'd be you'd have to come over here and equip them this way so I can do like this for example no, this one. pretty good this. so uh, oh I'll head up the memorial hall real quick just to show that off but as far as actual gameplay involvement, that lower area is all there really is. This area is only used for promotion. The memorial hall is where we honor the fallen. Feel free to walk around and pay your respects. You can actually unlock some uh, additional decorations up here just by playing, basically. So, player rank four you'll get by playing, seven you'll get by playing, three, 
five. It's it's really bare bones stuff. So if I got my engineer level ten, I'd get a statue, get a driller level ten, get a statue. Nothing too difficult to do. Mule, unlock a golden version of that. And right here is the promotion terminal. So you'll need to be level 25 with a class, and then you'll get an assignment, uh, which will consist of four missions. Once you complete those four missions, you can come up here and promote your dwarf. And that will give you a single bronze star the first time, and grant you an additional active perk slot, which I should have touched on while I was down there. Let me hop down there real quick and touch that, and we should be just about done here. So right here in the uh, equipment terminal, you, it even gives you a tool tip for it. Promote the gunner once to unlock this slot. And these are the two you get from the perk tree itself. And if I had any passives or actives, I could equip them. So that's uh, about it. Uh, that's your comprehensive guide to the space rig. And I wish you luck in your endeavors. Hopefully you'll be uh, promoted like the rest of us in no time. Now that is real. Rock and stone. You know, you're not being paid by the hour. Get to work.